Design is uh, a process that is at the basis of any engineering uh, discipline. And design is mostly, uh, was mostly done by hand. So electronic, de electronic design automation is the science and the implementation in computer software that helps people designing uh, their uh, system more efficiently and without errors. Uh, this uh, is especially important for uh, in chips, so semiconductors, uh, that are uh, pervasive in everyday uh, object. And the uh, capability of uh, uh, doing this process automatically has made it possible to go from a few hundred of basic components, transistor on a single chip, to the point where we are today when we can place more than one billion uh, transistor on a single chip. So we went from one to one million uh, in uh, a few years of, uh, of the evolution of this methodology. So the chips that go into our uh, objects, let that be a laptop, let that be a telephone, let that be a car, or even toys that we uh, give to our children, uh, are designed following a, a standard process that uh, uh, everybody who is involved in designing engineering system uh, goes through, which goes from a, a ideation, so in other words, what I want to achieve with my electronic uh, subsystem, and its implementation. So when I finally get a little tiny piece of silicon that gets inserted in the objects that we use every day, that process goes through a series of steps. Uh, and we were able to formalize this uh, series of steps in such a way that you can build mathematically uh, um, a transition from one step to the next to the next. And once you define precisely mathematically what these steps look like, then you can build software tools that actually automate these steps. And that is what created that revolution that we were discussing in the previous uh, uh, question. Now, the, uh, uh, since we have been able to uh, master the complexity of designing uh, electronic uh, systems, then we are thinking uh, about how to extend the tools and the algorithms that we develop to different fields. And that is not as easy as it seems, because every field, of course, has its own uh, characteristics. And one important characteristic is to be able to do that rigorous development of the various steps and the formalization of these steps. <clears throat> now, some people say that we could use uh, machine learning to do these steps. And certainly, some of these steps can be aided by, uh, by machine learning. But no, uh, you cannot do everything with machine learning because we know more than using machine learning algorithm. We know the physics principle, and using that, we can guarantee the performance of our tools. So this is a most important uh, line of research, if you like, in, in, uh, in my field. But the applications that we're looking at, besides uh, things like automobile, airplanes, and buildings, is actually biology. So in my opinion, uh, this is a most promising avenue, considering how important it is to design drugs to cure diseases in a rigorous way so that they don't have side effects. They are produced in much faster way than they are produced today. They are tested quickly. And in addition to that, we can use them to create um, life forms uh, that are not existing in nature to engineer these life forms to perform specific tasks. Now, this is possible. And in fact, we, uh, a, a student of mine has developed a theory and its application to synthetic biology, and has even formed a company which is called Asimov, 
that is implementing this way uh, of thinking. In addition, one of the companies that I helped founding has just completed an acquisition of a company that is active in the domain of uh, uh, drug discovery, uh, which will help uh, humanity in ways that we cannot foresee now, but in 10 years can revolutionize that domain as well.